Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Also welcome to all my new subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you for being here. So I already have my foundation and brows on obviously. And for day, for day, <laughs> today for this look, we are using my Alice Through the Looking Glass um, palette. And I started off with that peachy shade for a transition. So we're working that in first. Then we're going to move right into that pink shade and we're going to work that right under that transition shade. Um, in the crease and on the outer corner. And while I am using this palette, I want to give thanks to my Auntie Jelaine for getting this for me. I'm loving this palette. All the colors in here are so fun and I can't wait to play with them. So this is the first look I'm creating with this palette. And then up next, we're just working. Um, you're gonna, you guys are going to see me blending a lot between colors. So we're going back with that transition shade and kind of blending out that harsh line. So blending is key with this look, as you can see. Um, we're now adding this plum shade. I just wanted to darken it up a little bit. So um, we're adding that on the corner V and a little under the crease there. One thing I did notice about the palette is the colors aren't very pigmented, so you really have to pack them on. But it's okay because I did a lot, a lot, a lot of blending. Sorry, my phone. I did a lot of blending and going back and forth with these colors. I definitely wanted some more of the pink to stand out, so I had to add more of that too. But every time I added more of one color, I had to add more of the other, so it took a lot of time. It was a process. <laughs> Taking this shimmery shade here, we're placing that on the inner part of the lid and I'm leaving the outside space for the plum so I'm going to go back with the plum after this and just kind of blend it out seamlessly on the lid. So we want that plum and that shimmery shade to come together as one uno married couple together holding hands. So what the heck. <laughs> I guess that's another way to explain it, right? I mean, you guys get the point. <laughs> so we're going to blend that out one more time, one last time, and we're done with the eyes. We're stepping right into contouring here. You guys have seen me contour 1,000 million times, so I'm not going to talk through this part. So basically... I just told you I'm not going to talk through it and I was about to start talking through it. <laughs> oh, and I'm using the Iconic London Contour, Cream Contour Palette. And I have to talk to you. Okay, I have to tell you what I'm doing. I have to. So <laughs> I'm contouring the nose there and the forehead. I know it looks all crazy, but I love, I think contouring is one of my favorite things to do because it's like painting the face. And I meant like cream contouring um, because I feel like the bronzer sticks to it a lot better when I have the cream base down first because if I just do the powder I feel like it's just not sticking as well you know what I mean so what I'm doing with the concealer here is I'm cleaning up the shadow see how we had a little bit going on there so yeah I made it perfect there and I did add another concealer my Maybelline sand one just because it's a little darker so it kind of um, balances out that light contour from that iconic London cream contour palette and now we're just going to blend everything out. I did add some lashes on too. I think these were the Ardell 600 Natural Lashes. And I did not do an eyeliner as you can see. And I'm going to use my Airspun now in the shade Natural. And we're going to go ahead and bake a little bit there. Make sure you guys use a damp sponge just because that powder sticks a lot better to it so you can apply a ton for your bakage. I didn't bake for super long. I went ahead and wiped it away pretty quick here. And with the remainder powder, I'm just setting all the rest of the places I applied the concealer. And now we're going in with my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer just to warm up the face a little bit. I didn't go in with my NYX um, the medium bronzer just because I'm a little lighter right now this time of the year So this one gives me a good perfect bronze to just warm it up a little bit And 
And we're going to go ahead and clean up that contour using the same airspun powder there. And we're going to jump right into blush. This is one I got in my Ipsy bag. It's a beautiful color. It's like a darker, rosy shade, and I really love it. Does that even make sense? Darker, rosy? I don't know. It's like a... I can't even explain colors. You guys already know me. So what I meant is I have Romantic Rose. You guys know that Milani blush. It's darker than that one, but it's like that kind of like mauve dark shade. That's why I love it so much. So we're jumping into under the eyes here, and I'm using both that kind of bright pink shade and the plum that we used on the eyes. And we just kind of blend those two together. And then I'm using this little Anastasia um, cream pencil to go ahead and open up the eyes. Dang, this is moving faster than I expected. <laughs> and then we're using the Too Faced Mascara for the lower lashes. Jumping right into highlight here. We sprayed the face first with setting spray so that the highlight sticks a little bit better. And we're applying that to the bridge in the tip of the nose and the mustache as well. And we use the Anastasia That Glow Glow Kit for the highlight. And for the lips, we're using this Tarte Lip Gloss. I wasn't too sure about the color at first, as you can see by my face. <laughs> but I ended up liking it all in all in the end. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this look. Make sure to leave me a comment down below so I know what's real. And we will talk to you guys later. Welcome back to my channel. So I came up with this. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I came up with this look for you guys to. Are you kidding me?